up in the box, sports cards fans. Welcome back to another episode. We've got more Bowman. It's not Bowman Mega. It's not regular Bowman. It's Bowman First Edition. I've had this box. they kind of holding it. Figured I'd open it tonight. Hope everybody's doing well. Let's see if we can get the bat. Hit a bomb. Well, I think I opened one box of this. Maybe two. I'd have to go back and double check. Hope everybody's doing well. Here we go. Bowman first edition. See if we can get any good numbered cards. Saucy's in the house. Carddeal.com. Mike, let's go. All right, let's see what we got here. No guaranteed autos in this product. Of course, I just put away all my cards today, so I open more. What's up, White Sox Tom? Let's see what we got here. Uh, Jeremy, I've had this. Here comes the sky blue. I'm going to sleeve that right off the bat. These are not numbered. That's a good-looking product uh, card. Let's move these back just a little bit. There we go. See what happens here. There's Ian Lewis and Kowser. So lots of paper in here, but silver cards in my first box didn't really have a much. Jeff says, looking for a platinum 101. That would be amazing. How about the Watts? I'd actually think I'd take Ellie De La Cruz over Watson at this point. Ellie De La Cruz, his Stock seems to be going up. Luca Trash. Bobby Witt Jr. Man, how about uh, O'Neill Cruz against my Cubbies? I saw a tweet. He, like, had the hardest hit ball of the Pirates this year. He had the hardest thrown ball, fastest running Dude seems to be a stud. There was no foil in that one. I For some reason, I thought there was a foil in all these. The Cubbies are sponsored by Trash Bags. I really thought the Pirates would be the bottom dwellers, and here it's my Cubbies. Pete Crow Armstrong. Silver cards, yeah, man. They got a couple, I mean, with O'Neill Cruz and Key Brian Hayes. That's a good punch right there. And here's a Suspetus. Oswaldo. Dominguez. Riley Green is picking it up. So you get these uh, Sky Blues. There should be some numbered cards. I just don't remember how many. Yeah, I'm not sure why there wasn't hype. And here is our first numbered card. This is out of 150. It's a first. Henry Mendez for the Milwaukee Brewers. Like I said, I've had this box a while. Figured I'd open it. Organized all my cards this morning and did some cleaning. Thought the Ricketts would spend money this year. Nah, they're trash bags. They're they're losing on purpose. They're gonna. I believe the Cubs are gonna trade Hendricks and Contreras if they can find anybody. Denzer Guzman. Wilson's probably the biggest uh, asset they have, and then Hendricks. Not sure who else they would trade away. I did see Cole had the no-no through, and then somebody broke it up. I saw that pop up. There was a first run, so we got a blue. Should be some more. Uh... Jerome says, the last time I hopped on live show, you opened the 101 Wander. How about a 101 here? Uh, Brock, I have these car BCW card houses that I like to use. Sky Blue. 
non-first. I sleeve up my Bowman. There's George Valera. And I put him in the... Um, I put them in those 800 count boxes. I can label them. I, I did a video on that a while ago. Jeff says he hasn't opened his yet either. These packs are kind of beat up. Looking for color in this, CJ Abrams. Trackers over here looking through the window. Lots of paper in this product. You get a ton of cards, I'll tell you that. Jeremy says, what made you decide to crack it open? I don't know. I felt like opening something tonight, and this, this seemed like a good product to open. Bowman. Jordan Walker. Not a first. And Bowman's king. Like I said, I recall there being like maybe four or five colors per box. But so far, we're getting close to the half the box, and we've got one color. Sky blue coming up, I believe. Cardeal.com. Ooh, that's a nice one. Ellie Kaboom. Ellie De La Cruz. Sky blue. That's a nice one. I'm calling that a kaboom. That might be a possible grader. Put that in my two grade pile. Looks pretty clean. Hard to tell with the blue background, but let me tell you, in person, that thing looks clean. Cardeal.com. I did not pay off the house, but I have, there's a Watson. Nice. This pack was nice. But I've kind of put the money away and just kind of holding it for now. Not making any uh, rush decisions. Um, Alex says, what's your biggest card this year? Oh, this year, man. That's a tough question. Putting me on the spot. Well, I can tell you my second biggest one ever was that Erlen Holland. Second biggest. Probably something from Bowman. I'm really looking forward to Series 2. My bo three boxes from Tops are on the way. But we'll see when that comes. So this is the halfway point right here. LA Day the Cruise was a nice one. Watson Base, plus we got a numbered card. Jerry says the back-to-back -back Jacks on the Tatis. Those were nice. My very first live stream ever. Two gold Tatises from Series 2. Sawinski's blowing up, guys. Three home runs the other day. His values are going nuts. I'm thinking about selling some of that. Some Sawinski. Probably should. So there's the first half of the box. Let's go over here. Um, White Sox fan, the Rosemont show was pretty dead. However, I mean, it was constant. It was not monstrous. There were lots of people spending, and there's another Ellie paper. And behind it, Urbina. Um, there were people that were pretty pleased, but that show in Indianapolis was really big. If you're catching social media, lots of guys were there. That was poor planning. Plus, it was Father's Day weekend. This has been a nice box so far, really. Chancellor said he pulled a soda reverence. Ooh, that's those reverence are super hard pulls. Sweeney. Can't believe I did not pull a mojo. Making a trade with Howie Vision. He's sending me a Bowman mojo of Sweeney. I'm sending him some bow some Bowman inserts. So Howie Vision, I'm gonna put those in the mail tomorrow. You guys been to any uh, card shows lately? I have a feeling the National is going to be 
Um, big. What is this one here? I don't know what the one on ones are in these, but this is not blue. What is this? This is out of 60, one of, or I'm sorry, wait a sec. Out of 10, kaboom. I thought maybe that was a platinum for a minute. Dang. Look at this beauty. One out of 10. That's a big boy. Really hard to see. I don't know what that... I have no idea what this is. Is that black? Somebody get on the checklist. I don't know. That's a nice one. At first, I thought that was a platinum again. I'm like, no way is that a platinum. Trey Sweeney again, doubling back-to-back -back jacks on him. Like, no way is that a platinum. If that was a platinum, that'd be unreal. So I'm pretty happy with this box. Yeah, Chainster. Baez is a nice product, and he plays for a very collectible team. Sal Freilich, Peyton Wilson will sleeve him. Says, flip that baby. I might send that to get graded if it looks decent. Sky blue. <laughs> Silver card said, you'd be dubbed the Platinum King for other. Forever, if that was another one on one. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. The I, I did see that they won a game. Black foil out of 10. It's been so long, I haven't looked up the checklist for this card, for these boxes. Like I said, I think the autos are pretty tough pulls in here. Pulled one auto out of this product, out of one of the boxes I opened. Jeremy says, your luck is ridiculous. <laughs> you can send them. You might not get them back. Marte. There's Julio. There's Acuna. There's George Valera. I'll sleeve him later. PA. Sleeve one in 488 packs. I like it a lot. One one sports card says a one K card. I like that. Kaboom! I'll probably send that to PSA. And here is another one out of one fifty. Adele Amador. I like it. That's why you open your your boxes, guys. Don't sell them. Open your boxes, man. These products, there's Jackson Chorio. That's another good one. Don't sell your boxes, man. Don't sell your boxes. Worth more than a lot of times. Only one better is the one-on-one rainbow foil, Jeff says. I like to hear that. Kaboomage. I'll top load that baby before we're done. Again, thanks for stepping the box. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Appreciate all the support. If you're new, hit that subscribe. Cardill.com, what's your address? <laughs> That's funny. One in 244, Jeff says. They didn't make very much of this product, so. I like this product a lot. It's Bowman, first edition. Got some numbered cards. Possible autographs even though they're tough. This Bowman this year is really good, in my opinion, with long-term and short-term. The red is one out of 488. Thanks for the odds, Jeff. I appreciate it, buddy. We got another sky blue. Who is it? Old Soderstorm. Soderstrom. Dominguez. We're getting down to the last couple packs, guys. 
pulling some heat. Two packs to go. If you so kindly could hit that thumbs up. It helps out a ton. Some of these packs don't have any foils at all. Oswaldo again, PA. That's like the third PA in this box. Ed Howard. And we're down to last pack mojo. Joel, I actually sent trading cards more. I looked at Dominguez's stats, and he's having a, having a pretty good year, in my opinion. And we have another sky blue to finish it off on the last pack, Mojo. And it's Pacheco. This has been a good box overall. And there you have it. Let's do a little recap. Thanks for hanging in there. I'd say we hit a light tower power bomb. Let's go through the Sky Blues, not numbered, Pacheco, Soderstrom, Marte, Peyton Wilson was a first, Urbina, Acuna, Walker, Cartaya, Guzman first, Suspedes, and Clays. the little, I like that card. So three of those. First, I like the, uh, the matching color. Let's get down to some of the base cards. Sweeney, we doubled down on Sweeney and L.A. De La Cruz. We had one. No Khalil Watson. Unless I missed him, I saw some Ian Lewis's in there. No Watson. And I tell you what, I, this is a big card. Ellie De La Cruz, that will probably go to PSA. Out of 150, Amador. The big boy of all of them, the Josh Baez. Out of 10, I forgot we did pull Kalia Watson, sorry. And then Henry Mendez out of 150. So we had three numbered card in that box. Seems like lighter than I recall, but this is a big boy. Some people are saying this is $1,000 or more. I think it was worth opening this box. It's the good old eBay one of one. Out of 10, nine out of 10. What a beautiful card. And then we had some nice first as well. Gotta like that. What do you guys think? That was a big opening if you ask me. Again, thanks for stepping in the box. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. This was a big boy. Thought it was a platinum for a second. All right, boys. Until next time. Peace.